welcome back to my channel. We are gonna kick this video off with a grocery haul. It's the night before I'm filming my video. That's usually how I like to kick off grocery hauls. We generally shop in the evening after the twins are done dinner. I'll probably go to morning shopping soon when their nap schedule switches around, but for now we do it in the evening and we got a pretty big haul. The things that are not shown here are the waters, all of the milks and we got some Traeger pellets, but everything else is up here. So I thought it would be interesting to show you guys the new things that Costco has. We hadn't been in a while, but let's just jump right in. We got a big case of eggs. We were out of eggs. Baking season is upon us and I try and eat eggs every day now. So we wanted to load up on those. There was this ahi tuna wasabi poke bowl. My husband wanted that. Some strawberries for the kids, bananas for the babies, blackberries for the kids. This is my favorite dessert, the True Fru. I think three of these is like 90 calories, so it's a really great little treat. Some prosciutto, I think that might have been on sale. Panera bread mac and cheese. I thought this would be nice for the babies. They love mac and cheese and this one is high calorie. Um, our twins are technically in the smaller percentile, so it's okay if they <laughs> eat a little bit more. Um, they want them to gain more weight and get bigger, but I'm honestly not worried about it. They eat plenty throughout the day. Uh, we got this Tillamook pepper jack sharp white cheddar and medium cheddar cheese pack. Our family loves cheese. Back here, I found this. This was new to me, the Fruit Riot Sour Grapes. I think they're gonna taste like Sour Patch Kids, but in grape form, they're like coated grapes. They also are dye-free, which is awesome, and it also says no artificial flavors too. 45 calories for one ounce. It says there's 20 servings in here. Um, I don't think there's 20 servings. This looks like a couple servings to me, but I thought it would be interesting to try out. Back here we have some avocados, some suija. This is the ginger love. These were on sale, so I picked up two of these. Um, it's like a ginger lemonade, so that sounds really good, especially eating like ginger this time of year um, in the fall and winter is really good. Then we picked up this giant Restelli's premium butcher grill collection box. These were on sale at our Costco and it comes with three bone-in ribeye steaks. They're 18 ounces each, so that is really big. Three 16 ounce bone-in strip steaks and then 32 butterflied and skewered extra jumbo tiger shrimp. Plus it comes with all of the seasonings that you would need. I think it shows them down here. And another customer was telling my husband about it and he said that it was really good. So for the price, we figured we can make quite a few meals out of this for our family. So we wanted to give that a try. Moving along, we have some salmon here for my husband and the boys. I don't like fish, so that is all them. <laughs> Back here, they had the Dish Daddy. You guys know I love Scrub Daddies. Um, this is the Dish Scrub version. I think it holds the soap in the bottom, and this was on sale, so I was excited to get that. I think I had seen it on TikTok or a reel before, and I wanted it a really long time ago, but it was when it first came out and it was super expensive, but now they have them on sale at Costco, which is awesome. By the way, if you are new to my channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you here. The twins and I passed through the Christmas section and this is the colors that I do our Christmas tree. So I got this ribbon either for gifts or to intertwine in the Christmas tree. I forgot to mention we already have chicken for the week so we didn't buy any chicken and we actually prefer the chicken from Wegmans anyways. Um, I did go ahead and get some egg whites. I had been out of these for a while so I was just cracking regular eggs but this is so much more convenient just to throw together for a quick lunch. Back here we got the kids organ protein shakes. They love the chocolate ones. They were finally on sale. I think these were $9 off so we got a giant box of those. Just the Cascade Complete dishwasher pods. These were also on sale. This was new at our Costco, the Magic Spoon Rice Krispy Treats. I was really excited to find these. I had seen them online before, but I wasn't sure if our store would have them. They have 12 grams of protein. They're keto friendly, gluten free. So I thought this would be the perfect little treat. There's chocolate peanut butter and double chocolate. Down here we have some Celsius energy drinks. I do really like these, um, but for some reason they don't always work well with my body, so I prefer the Alani new ones, but from time to time I will have one of these. 
Um, and then down here, we just got the Kirkland's brand of their kettle chips. These are so good. And then my favorite popcorn, the Skinny Pop Cheddar Jalapeno. This is the best popcorn of all time. I do have a bag in the garage, but I wanted to grab another before they discontinue it, and it doesn't expire until the end of November. So I have my fall snacks for evening movie viewing ready to go. And then the last thing we picked up besides the waters, the milks, and the Traeger pellets is this Nexus, it's shampoo and conditioner, the Unbreakable Care. These were on sale at our Costco. So I'm gonna go ahead and put everything away and I will catch up with you guys in the morning. channel welcome back to another day in the life it is monday here got my coffee in hand my protein coffee ready to go we need to reset just tackle the house and get things done around here that is why i title my videos that my videos consist of a little bit of everything so if that sounds good to you hit that subscribe button down below we are going to be doing some cooking in today's video we already did our grocery haul also going to be doing a fall diy planter and then also i need to do some declutter organizing all of that good stuff so if that sounds good to you keep on watching let's go ahead and jump right in I love to save my crock pot meals for days when I'm filming videos so I can share them with you guys and give you some easy meal ideas today we're making a taco soup you just need a ground meat of choice a broth of choice i have beef broth on hand you need a can of corn a can of black beans two cans of rotel with the green chilies also some minced garlic one onion diced up and then for seasonings you'll want some oregano some cumin and chili that is just to taste honestly that's what i do when making most of my recipes you could also add salt pepper you could add onion powder garlic powder or any other seasonings of choice if you have a taco seasoning you could add that in there too but i'm just going to get all of these ingredients into my crock pot and cook it on low for about seven hours I ate mine as the soup. I'll show you later in the video. And for the kids, I kind of drained some of the broth and put it over rice for them and topped with cheese and sour cream. And I put some green onions on mine. And this was a really healthy, easy, high protein dinner. We got the older boys off to school on this morning and I just got the twins down for their morning nap. So I'm gonna tackle some of my daily morning chores, which includes folding the laundry from the night prior. I'm also doing an extra load of wash today because I wanted to go ahead and wash our bath towels. And then I'm gonna hop over to our bedroom, make the bed, get the laundry folded and put away. And then I wanted to go through the boys' little toy boxes in their rooms and just get rid of any little odds and ends that might be in there that they don't play with or need so I'm just going to do a little bit of decluttering in that aspect and I'm not going to get rid of anything that they love or play with 
I don't mind having extra toys around the house. It can be overwhelming sometimes, but I do know that it is temporary and it's something that they truly play with and enjoy. I'm not going to get rid of it on them. I like seeing them use their imaginations and play together. So now I'm in the boys room and I'm just adding some hangers to their closets. We're going to be switching out the clothes in a couple of months here to the next size up. So I'm just trying to organize the clothes that are marked half sizes, like a six slide seven and put those in between the size six and the size seven if that makes sense and then I'm going to do the same thing in Max's room just add some hangers to his closet we were running low on hangers and we ran to Target and I grabbed the last two packs that they had but we will be doing a lot of closet organizing over the next couple of months Next, I'm going to squeeze in a workout in our basement gym. Today was shoulders, and I also started adding in kettlebell swings into all of my workouts just for an overall body workout. I'm using dumbbells today and the kettlebell, and then also going to be walking on my treadmill in a high incline. I love doing this and watching other vloggers' videos, and it just helps to pass the time. Done. The twins are about to come down from nap now, so I'll feed them lunch. We'll see if we have time for a walk or not. I like to be in the house when Max gets home from school so we can greet him and he's not coming home to an empty house, even though my husband will be picking him up after physical therapy. We actually all took the drive to school this morning. The babies, me and my husband, we all dropped Mason off at school and then Max off at school. And while I was working out, I just felt so sad because all summer long I had Mason and Max with me during our workout and they had like this awesome brother time where they would pick a movie together, have snacks, play together and it was just a great time and I looked out into like the little family room area near our gym and they weren't there. Um, so I was just a little sad about that. It is nice to have a little break, especially from the younger ones. I feel like it's a little bit more difficult taking care of toddlers, but the older they get and the more independent they get, you're longing for that time with them. And Mason is gone all day, so I just really miss having him around. Um, I know that there's a few days off from school coming up, so we'll jump back into that routine on those days. But I quickly wanted to show you guys um for my DIY later, most of the supplies came from Walmart. So when I placed that order, I also ordered these two things. I don't know if you've seen them yet, but they have the Dove Cinnamon Pumpkin Pie Body Wash. I'm so excited about this. I actually haven't even smelled it yet, but I'm sure it smells amazing. Oh, it smells so good. So good. And also the Dawn uh, Platinum Plus Power Wash. This is the pumpkin spice scent. Um, so I want to smell that too. All right. Obviously not as good as the body wash. It kind of smells like, hang on, like a pumpkin spice, like alcohol maybe, I guess because it's a cleaner. So the alcohol kind of scent is in there. Um, 
but this does smell good for a dish spray i use this all the time when cleaning out like the crock pot or different dishes but i'm quickly going to go ahead and make my lunch which has been consisting of egg whites and a ratio protein yogurt with keto granola on top getting back into my diet as best as i can and i'm also going to make the twins a sandwich probably like a ham and cheese on a potato roll maybe some um, banana on the side or a fruit pouch and then we'll see if we have time for a walk or not but if not that's okay and then we're gonna do our fall DIY and also declutter my closet for fall um, it's still really hot this week but I think next week it's gonna cool down just a little bit so I'm so excited about that and I just want to get my closet in order because I kind of have things from when I was pregnant postpartum and then pre-pregnancy and after so kind of just like a mix of clothes and I like to go through it often right now to see kind of like what I'm feeling like wearing as you know I have my body back I don't really want to be wearing things that I wore when I was postpartum um, I was probably about like 10 or 15 pounds heavier than I am now. So I wanna make sure that my closet has things that I'm actually gonna be wearing and feel good in. Also, if you're wondering, here are the tomatoes from our garden. It's still going. Oh, it looks like a bug got to that one. Um, but yeah, we have it out back. We've been getting cucumbers and tomatoes lately. It's awesome. All right, just finished together putting lunch on our plates this is just kind of to start for the babies they have ham and cheese on a roll and they each have a fruit pouch then if they eat all of that they get a snack with it too i just want to make sure that they get like their fruit and veggies and a little bit of protein in first and then i have my egg whites and then this is the sauce that i put on it the hank sauce it's essentially a hot sauce but it's not super hot if you're ever by the jersey sure definitely grab yourself some bottles of this it's so good it's my favorite they have a few different flavors too. And then this is the yogurt that I was talking about, the ratio yogurt, and I just have some keto granola on top. So this is a really high protein lunch. I wanna say it's about 35, maybe 38 grams of protein. So that'll keep me going until dinner time. And usually I'll just have a small snack in the afternoon, like a Chomps beef stick, some rice cakes, something like that. Also, the babies are walking all over. It is the cutest thing ever. Now you're going to crawl because I said you walk. Um, watching these little people just walking all over the house, right? Can I see you walk? Come on. There he goes. So cute. <laughs> Show everyone your new trick. How you eat fruit pouches by yourselves. Such big boys. <laughs> They're like, what are you doing, mom? While I'm right next to the twins and they're eating, I'm gonna work on my little fall DIY. I got this bucket from Walmart. It's actually an indoor, outdoor, um, like I guess you would put like wine bottles and ice in it, um, cans and water bottles and things, but I thought it would actually be a really pretty planter for out front. So what I have inside is just some rocks at the bottom, some plastic bags just to kind of you know lift this up a little bit and I have a styrofoam round in there and then I found these really pretty flowers on Amazon but I also learned that Timu has the same ones for a fraction of the cost I wish I would have checked that out um, but I want to put these faux stems in here and create a floral arrangement for my front porch because it's still gonna be hot out where we live for a little while and I like to do my front porch at the very beginning of September and it's a little too hot out for the mum still. So I thought it would be really nice to create my own faux mum planter and just, I don't know if these are necessarily mums, but it'll look like it from a distance. Um, and to have this year after year, I'll still buy some mums too. Usually they're pretty inexpensive where I live, but I just really wanted to create my own that I knew I could put out right at the beginning of September. turned 
out so pretty and it's so simple to do. Like I said, you could do it even more on a budget getting the flowers from Timu and maybe shopping around for a different planter. I think this one was around $14, so not too bad. It was from Walmart. Um, and I just think this turned out really good. Keep in mind, this is from a distance, so you'll see the pops of orange from the street. I think I'm going to be putting this on our little like coffee table that we have out there in between the two chairs. I might have to add some more rocks to it just to make it a little bit heavier we do get pretty bad winds here in the fall um so yeah that's my plan for this i'm not gonna put it out just yet it's not quite september when i'm filming this but as soon as september hits and i do my fall porch decorate with me you will see this out there Next, we are going to make a fun lunchbox treat for the boys. I just got some Toll House cookie dough and these fun spooky shaped sugar cookies. I'm gonna flatten the dough between my hands and then press a sugar cookie into the middle and bake as normal and it kind of combines the two cookies together these looked so good unfortunately i could not try one they were not gluten free but the kids did love them and these are just a fun festive treat you guys can make throughout the fall and halloween season <laughs> So we're up in my closet about to do a little clean out. I'm holding Luke. I'm going to put him down for his nap shortly. Um, and inside one of my boots, I haven't worn these boots in a couple of years, so I was contemplating donating them. Um, but inside is Mason's favorite stuffed animal, his baby Mickey from literally when he was a few months old. He lost it about two years ago, so we just gave him some other Mickeys and Max shared one of his with him, which was super sweet because baby Mickey had been missing. Um, and he got over it eventually and we never found baby Mickey. Well, lo and behold, in my boot is baby Mickey and a dinosaur. I can't wait to tell him when he gets home from school. That's where he's been hiding for two years. I cannot believe that. So like I mentioned earlier in my video, we are going to be doing some closet decluttering. I'm actually taking pictures of these shoes because I want to list them on my Poshmark. Every once in a while, I'll just list a couple of things on there, but pretty much everything else gets donated in hopes that somebody in need can use them. I'm just going to go through and pull out things that I haven't worn in forever that I don't think that I will wear. Again, things that are not the right size because like I mentioned, some of these clothes are from pregnancy, pre-pregnancy pregnancy, postpartum, and currently. So some things might be stretched out or too small and my body has just really changed over the past couple of years with having four kids. I'm back to my normal size now, but in the interim I did have like some looser clothes or dresses that were tighter when I was pregnant and they looked cute over the bump, but they don't look as cute now. So I'm just going to go ahead and get those out of the closet it that way when I'm looking for fall outfits I have things in there that I'll actually wear and things that actually fit me correctly I'm just going to organize my leggings as well and make sure things are in order for the fall season here is the donation bag that I pulled out today but I'm going to go ahead and end today's video here I hope you guys enjoyed it and it gave you some motivation and inspiration make sure you subscribe to my channel if you haven't already here is dinner all complete and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!